All right, uh, the last, the next couple of assignments we're going to do just have to do with looping, the concept of looping in a computer program and having control over the loop and making it only go for a certain amount of, of time. And uh, so that's what we're going to look at. And today we're going to solve this problem that you're looking at right here, which I will kind of uh, work through with you here. We need to understand the problem. All right, so here it is, the problem, right? I just made this name up. This is all fictional. Emma and her parents could not agree on a plan for her allowance. Yay. So Emma came up with a proposal to offer her parents. She says, pay me allowance for the next three weeks, six days a week. So those are important facts. Three weeks, six days a week. No allowance on Sunday. On the first day, pay me one penny, one cent. That's what she gets paid on day one. Then double my allowance every day for the next three weeks, but not on Sundays. Three weeks, but not on Sundays. Her parents agreed. Assuming that she does not spend any of the money, how much will she have at the end of the three weeks? If she just saves all that money, she gets paid one penny the first day, two cents the next day, four cents the next day, eight cents the next day. How, many is, how much money is she going to wind up with? at the end of three weeks. Not Sundays, though. She didn't get paid on Sundays. All right, so one of the things I'd like for you to do is just in your brain, just what do you think? She's going to have 50 bucks, 100 bucks? What, what's she going to have? Make a guess in your brain. Not, you don't have to tell anybody. Uh, we're going to use the game lab on code.org to write a computer program to solve this problem. And what I would do if I were you, as you're writing the program, uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to write it so you can kind of watch the video to certain points. And then you can pause the video whenever you need to. So you could pause the video uh, anytime. Is that what I just said? I had to hit the pause button myself. So you, anyway, you could. Yeah, I'm remembering what it, you could pause this video anytime that you need to and go do a little bit of the program and then come back to the video and watch some more and then go do a little bit more of the program uh, and you could kind of work that way and that way if you follow this video carefully you'll get the right answer all right so I'm gonna go uh, well yeah yeah, well, yeah you, we've read the problem right um, we didn't read it there we read it here Whew, sorry I got interrupted in my recording uh, all right, so we're going to use uh, the game lab on code.org, and we're going to write this program that will solve the problem. And like I said, pause this video whenever you need to. Have another tab open with the game lab in it, and um, and you know, pause the video and go do a little bit of the program, and just keep working back and forth, and you'll get it. Uh, there is going to be, when you get all the way done, there you're going to see a correct answer. If you keep watching this video to the end, you're going to see a correct answer. And if you don't get the correct answer, something's wrong. you got to fix it. And if you're at school, I'll help you. Or if you can send an email to me, and I can kind of help you from there as well. All right. Anyway, share it when you get it all done. And I'm going to go over here. I want to make sure that we have a concept of what's happening in this problem, right? So this this girl, Emma is going to get paid an allowance the first day she gets paid one penny and she's going to save all this money she's not going to spend any for these uh the the number of days that this, this deal is going on so she takes her one penny that she gets on day one and she puts it in her let's say this is her penny jar or whatever all right so on day number two she gets two pennies right because her, her her allowance doubles so on day number two, she gets two pennies, and you put it in the jar, and how many pennies do you have now? You have three. So the total is always updating, and the allowance is always doubling. Right? That's how this is going to work. All right. On day number three of this deal, she gets paid four cents, which is double what she had got paid the day before. And she's going to take those four cents, and she's going to put them in her piggy bank. And now what she got? She's got seven. Total went up. Uh, she got it got the allowance got doubled the total went up and then this is the last one I'm going to show you here so on day number four she gets um, eight, eight cents right because she had four the day before it gets doubled and she, you know, they, these aren't going to fit in there but you'll get the idea so now she had seven and she gets eight more so now she's got 15 cents so after four days 
she has 15 cents. And so that's a visual of how this problem is going to work, right? It, her allowance is always going to get doubled, and she's going to save all of it, and the total is going to keep climbing and climbing until we get to the end of the period of time where she's getting this allowance. Okay. Well, so let's go to code.org and write a program that will solve the, solve the problem, the question, how much will she have when it's all over? All right, so I'm just going to go here. I'm on code.org. I'm already logged in. I'm going to go create game lab. So what you want to do is make sure that you've got, you know, um, have this video <laughs> open in one tab and get a, a, a second tab open with game lab. And so let's let's go. Okay. And if you need to pause the video now and go get a tab open for game lab, then do it. Pause the video. Okay, you're back. So now let's move on. The first thing here is going to be making some variables. So let's make sure we get the right variable command. We have to create variables. It's going to be the, the one at the top, and we're going to use three of them. One, two, three. And they're going to keep track of three things for us. One of the things, we got to count the days in this deal, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to call one of them day because this, this doesn't last forever. They said three weeks, Monday through Saturday, nothing on Sunday. So there's a, a limited number of days. So I'm going to start off with day equals one. We're going to start on day one. Um, now, what? how much allowance does she get paid the first day? And I'm going to call this variable, I'll just shorten it a little bit. I'm going to call it allow. How much does she get the first day? She gets one penny. All right. And then uh, the other thing we want to keep track of is the total, right? How much does she have? She's putting those pennies in the jar or in her penny piggy bank or whatever. And so, you know, we got to keep a, a updated calculation of that. And that's going to start at zero. So this is our first thing right here. We're going to create three variables. And again, if you need to pause the video right now, Go over to your tab where Game Lab is, create those three variables, look at them, day, allow, total, and day is one, allow is one, and total is zero. Go, go do it. What are you waiting here for? Okay, you're back. All right, now, um, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to keep this draw loop here, and this is where, this is kind of the newish thing. Yeah, we didn't really talk about it in any lessons, but you may you may know about it. I'm going to go over to the control uh, box here and get a while loop. It's the second one down, and I'm going to get a while loop, and I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to drop it in. Okay. Now, what this does, another good way to translate the word while, W-H-I-L-E, is as long as. So we're going to put a condition in here, which will, so, so this, this blue loop, whatever we put in there, will keep happening as long as the condition is true. When the condition is no longer true, eh, game over, right? So this is not going to be an endless loop. It's not just going to go forever and ever and ever. All right, so what? how are we going to know when this is over? Think about that for a second. How are we going to know when this deal is over? What What is the, the signal of, okay, this is done. You don't get any more allowance. Tick-tock, tick-tock. It's days, right? She said three weeks, three weeks, six days a week. Well, okay, uh, three, th what, what's three times six? What's three times six? 18. Oh, after 18 days, this is done. So what I'm going to do, the way I'm going to set that up is say, if day, as long as day is less than 19, all right? So it, again, if you need to pause the video right now and go over to your other tab and put that much into your program, then do it. Pause the video. Okay, you're back. Um, now, now that we have that set, um, we're going to make a calculation. Okay, we're going to start keeping track of the, the total amount uh, that she has. All right, so I'm going to use one of these. Um, and again, make sure you get the right one. Do not bring over the one that says var. We're not going to do that. We've already done that. We're not going to do that. We're going to use this third one right here. And the calculation is going to look like this. It is going to look like uh, we're going to update the total. All right, and what's going to go in here is going to be the 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 uh, the new total is going to equal the old total plus the allowance that gets added in there. All right, so it's a little uh, uh, formula, uh, you know. Uh, uh, what's the word I want? An equation. That's it. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, the new total equals the old total plus the amount of allowance. 
right? Because like the first day, she gets paid one penny, and so her total just went up, right? So if you need to pause the video right now and go do that much, then go do it. Okay, you're back. All right, now, the next thing, there's going to be a whole series of things here that are going to use this console.log, which we haven't even used before, not in this class. So I'm going to bring it over, and I'm going to drop it right here. And um, we can we can make what this does is it will make the the program spit out information down here at the bottom in this debug console, and we can kind of see the results of our program uh, if we ask it. Okay, spit out the information down here in this little window at the bottom. It's not going to appear over here on the game screen at all. It's going to appear down at the bottom. All right. So in this one, and this is going to look weird. But uh, this first console.log, we're going to put in, I'm going to go to the math drawer and get a plus block, and I'm going to drop it in here. We've done stuff like this before. We're, this is really, it's not, I'm not really adding numbers here. Uh, I am concatenating, all right? So I'm going to put quote day space quote, and then I'm going to put the variable. This is going to have no quotes. All right, so that's going to kind of put, it, it's going to keep track of the day. It's going to say day one, day two day three, day four, right? Because this is going to keep going and going and going through all of the days of this deal. So once again, if you need to pause the video right now, look at look at how that's set up. It's that console. It's in the, the variables, console.log, uh, plus block in here, and quote day plus no quote day. That's the variable. So if you need to pause the video and go do it, then go do it. Okay, you're back. Now, the next up is another console. We're going to have a whole series of these. We're going to have another console.log. And uh, we're going to put this on another plus block here. And in this one, I'm going to say, quote, allowance is, space quote. And then I'm going to put the variable allow in there. Um, and, and again, what that's going to do is show me how much allowance, like if this is day one, how much allowance does she get on day one? All right. And that's what it's going to help me see it. Yeah. You got to stick with me. You'll see it in a minute. All right. Uh, if you need to pause the video right now, put that much in, you see how we're building this, put that much in, you can pause the video, go over to your other tab, put that command in and then come back. Oh, you're back. Okay. So on we go with our console.logs. Okay. So this one is going to be the same kind of thing. It's going to have a, a math block in here again. So it's a console.log with a plus block in there. And this one's going to say, quote, total is space, quote. And then this is not going to have quotes. you got to pay attention to what has quotes and what doesn't have quotes because this will spit out the exact text that is in there, and this will give me the value of the variable right here. All right, so that's our third one. If you need to pause the video right now and go over to your other tab and do that one, then do it. Okay, you're back. Now, this one is a little bit more comp complex. Uh, not, not a ton. I'm going to get another console.log. And I'm going to go to the math, and I'm going to put in a plus block, and I'm going to get another plus block. And watch, I'm going to drop this plus block in the second hole of the first plus block because I want a total of three holes in that. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. All right. Now, what this is going to do is going to be spitting out the like the allowance in pennies. It's going to be telling us, okay, here's how many pennies you have. Wouldn't it be nice to know how many dollars that is? Wouldn't that be an improvement, right? I'd kind of like to know how many dollars it is. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that uh, that is space quote. I'll start like that. Or you could say that is the same as, or you could say in dollars that would be, you know, you could say you could say it differently than what I said it here if you want. In the second hole, we are going to take what we have is the total and divide it by 100 because that's how you convert pennies into dollars. You divide by 100. That doesn't have any quotes around it. That's a mathematical calculation that's happening right there. All right. And then here in the last hole, I'm going to put quote space dollars. 
All right, so that's going to tell us, okay, here's, here's how much you have in pennies. That's what this is going to do up here. And then this command is going to say, well, that would be the same as this many dollars, pennies, dollars. Kind of nice to be able to see that. All right, if you need to pause the video and go construct that, um, pause it and go. Ah, you're back. Okay. Um, all right, next up, another. This is the last one. And this one is just going to have, look, Look what I'm doing. Console.log quote dash 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 dash. I think if, if you'll just stick with me and see the end of this movie, you'll see why that helps a little bit. Okay. Now we, we're almost done. We have a couple of calculations that we need to do and we need to think logically about this. Okay. Oh, by the way, if if you need to pause the video, you could go do that last console.log thing with all the dashes. Uh, if you need to pause, go over to the other tab. Go ahead and do that. Okay, you're back. Now it's some, some calculations. All right, and for the calculate, we already made the variables. Do not carry over these commands and say var. Don't do that. Uh, it's just going to be this x equals. All right, so boom, right there. And what I got, here's a couple of things I got to do. I got to do something to the allowance. What was it that happens to the allowance every day? What was it? What was it? It gets doubled. So we have the new allowance for each day is going to equal the old allowance times two. And the, the um, uh, keyboard symbol, the programming symbol for multiplication is the, the star, the asterisk, which you have one on your keypad or uh, shift eight is a an asterisk. So it's going to be that allow equals allow times two. And if you need to pause the video and go over to your other tab and do that, then do it. Okay, you're back. Now we have one more calculation that we have to do. I'm going to bring over one more of those x equals things. Let me roll that up a little. And this one has to do with the days. We have got to count the days going by here. If we don't count the days, if we don't do this, then this thing's just going to run away and go forever, and we're never really <laughs> going to stop. And it's not going to work properly. All right, so we got to count the days. Well, okay, the days are pretty easy. I'm just going to hop over here. It's just, you know, what happens each time you go to a new day mathematically? What happens? It's just day equal day plus one. That's all it is. We're just adding, uh, you know, it's day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. So it's just day equal day plus one. We're updating which day it is. All right. This should do it. Right? Everything inside this blue while loop is going to happen as long as or while the value of the variable day is less than 19. So it should do it 18 trips through. That should be 18. And uh, that's what we want because the deal that Emma got from her parents was for Monday through Saturday for three weeks. So we're about to reveal what what's the answer. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to hit run over here. And look, you got to look in the debug console and you can scroll it. Uh, you can scroll it up and down because we, we wrote this program so that it gives us kind of a little report on every day. So, for example, right down here, I'm seeing day one, the allowance is one penny. The total is one penny, and that is $0.01. And then it just goes up from there. All right, day two, uh, the allowance is two cents. The total is up to three, and that's $0.03, and it just goes and goes and goes. So let's cut to the chase. Let's get down to day 18. Here it is, people. The final total, 26143, 262,143 pennies, which is the same thing as $2,621.43. Emma made off like a bandit. Look at that. She got it for three weeks, three weeks of allowance. She got $2,621.43. Pretty good deal. Now, here's the last thing I need to tell you. If you didn't get this answer right here, if you didn't get 262143, then something's wrong in your program. And you need to go back and look at it because what I'm going to be wanting to see is did you get 262143? If you did, you got it right. And you're done. Congrats. Uh, go up to the share button and copy the link and turn it in when you're all done. Adios.